Explosives were hidden inside the governor's compound in Kandahar. When they went off, 11 people, including five UAE diplomats on a humanitarian mission, were killed. Sheikh Mohammed, the country's prime minister, said on Twitter, There is no human, moral or religious justification for the bombing and killing of people who are seeking to help others. God bless our martyrs. The Taliban has denied any involvement in the Kandahar attack. But the group did claim responsibility for two bomb attacks in Kabul, which took place just a few hours earlier and killed at least 30 people. The first was a suicide bomber, the second a car bomb. Both were detonated near to the city's parliament building. I was at work and suddenly I heard a loud explosion. I got down and a lot of debris, iron debris and explosive debris flew past. It was very dangerous. I was on the phone when the first explosion took place, and that was a minor one. Ten minutes later, a second, very strong explosion happened, which shattered the windows of our house. And earlier Tuesday, a suicide bomber killed at least seven people in Lashkagar, the capital of the volatile Helmand province. Afghanistan last week welcomed the Pentagon's decision to deploy around 300 U.S. Marines to Helmand. That's where American forces had engaged in heated combat until they pulled out in 2014.